here we are back at the Abbey. <clears throat> and now two years ago in Jan January, this was January 2019 by the way, I made a film of this uh, uh, old girl, this uh, old lady of Weaver Tree. And uh, yeah, that was when uh, it was, uh, well, I don't know when it was, I don't know if it was still used as a uh, as a co-op, but I know uh, that it was, well, it wasn't under threat of demolition like it is now. Little were bought the building. Anyway, we'll get to that later. Any, uh, right. <coughs> Now this was built the same year that uh, the Holidays with Pay Act was introduced, 1938. Yeah, <clears throat> this was designed by uh, Alfred Sir Alfred Chen, an FRIBA fellow of the Royal Institute of British Architects. He, also did, he was also re responsible for a number of uh, other cinemas in Liverpool at the time, so it must have been fucking good. Seating 1,876, that's, one, uh, that's 1132 uh, in the store, 744 in the circle. This opened in March for 1939. And uh, the first film was uh, The Joy of Living, starring Irene Dunn and Douglas Fairbanks Jr. Don't know when they were, uh, when, uh, now I won't go into uh, things like emission prices and all, and all that shit, but I'll bore you to death, so I won't bother, it bore me to fucking death. Uh, anyway, <coughs> Fifteen years later, in March in 1950, on August uh, 1954, 50, August 15, 1954, the first 3D arrived at the, the Abbey. In and the first film was uh, 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 was Kiss Me Kate, starring uh, Howard Keel and Catherine Grayson. A few months later, CinemaScope arrived. And uh, when I say, if, uh, do mean a few months, and just before Christmas on December 19th, the first such film in command starring Guy Madison, not Guy Gibson as I thought, was shown. And uh, Deviating from other uh, cinemas in the circuit, I've uh, got this information from uh, uh, from the Dream Palaces of Liverpool by Harold Ackroyd, the book I recommend you buy. I order you to buy. It's bloody interesting. Uh, well, this uh, cinema has 70 millimeter projectors installed and stereophonic sound. Uh, and this was in 1960, the first such film uh, featuring all this uh, featuring stereophonic sound was South Pacific, uh, broadcast on September 11th that year. As if that wasn't advanced enough, for a little, just uh, under four years later, uh, Cinerama would arrive at the Abbey. Uh, now, Google Cinerama because that was like widescreen, and because of the big fucking projector, well, uh, well, well, the uh, big, uh, six, uh, uh, well, the the seating capacity was reduced to 1260, uh, with a loss of 616 seats. The first such film wasn't a film as such; it was promoting the. Uh, the new medium, if you like. Uh, this is Cinerama, uh, uh, and it, 
It opened, it was shown on the day that the Abbey opened as the Anura Abbey Cinerama in 1964, St. Patrick's Day that year, and the alterations cost uh, near 90,000 quid, uh, you know, uh, to do. 90,000! That's a shitload in today's money. But uh, uh, Cinerama films weren't to last. The last one was shown on uh, 6 March 1971. It was called The Song of, N A Song of Norway. Uh, and uh, I won't give, I won't rev uh, and then uh, a few years, and then, uh, but by, uh, but, this was this, but uh, this was on borrowed time. The cinema, as a cinema, <clears throat> because on March and August 4, 1979, the last film was shown, The Towering Inferno, starring Steve McQueen and Paul Newman. And uh, a few months later, uh, there was a big. Uh, a few weeks later, there was a, a, an auction. A, they held an auction in which a big cinema, cinerama screen was auctioned off. Now, there was always a car park here, but it wasn't like this. It was open, to, you know, it didn't have all these fancy schmancy fucking. Uh, uh, didn't have all these fancy schmancy uh, 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 raised beds obliterating the view. Not that you want a view of a car park. Uh, and I knew it, uh, I mean, I, uh, I mean, I knew it as the Abbey Cinerama. And I was up here because down the road, I'll show it in a future video, down the road is uh, an old uh, what used to be what was then Abbey Toys, and I think that I don't know when I was, but I, but on the, the occasion that I did come up here as a kid, you saw the big uh, sign a Cinerama across the top of the 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 frontage there. A few years in 1982, this opened as Lennon's no relation to a certain uh, uh, ex-Beatle who was uh, shot dead by uh, by a sick bastard named Mark, John, uh, Dave, Mark David Chapman. No relation to him at all. No. Anyway, th uh, and then that was going for a good few years until Gateway arrived. And then they got taken over by Summerfield. And then, uh, uh, and then the co-op moved in, <coughs> and I don't know when that was closed, but there was a plan to open up a cinema in the former circle. Never came to in anything, but there was uh, a snooker, uh, uh, a snooker hall uh, uh, installed upstairs, and, uh, and for I, th no, I think, uh, no. No, the uh, 1984 Doddy opened uh, a bingo hall in, built in the former circle. Anyway, this building is now uh, is now closed down. Little have bought it, and uh, uh, and uh, they're going to knock it down, the bastards. We're supposed to be living in the conservation area for... This is supposed to be a conservation area for fuck's sake. The... Yeah. I mean, the... You know, okay, there's, there's a, a care home uh, at the, opposite the bottom of... Uh, on a church road by us, but, you know, that's harmonizing with the surroundings. I don't know what was there previously, but that's harmonizing with the surroundings. And, uh, you know, 
Wave, the, Love, the Waver Tree and Society and Love Waver Tree are trying to get this building listed. I suppose uh, the, the uh, people in charge of that uh, operation have thought, well, uh, uh, I've taken a look at uh, as another shopping development down the road and thought, well, that's not in keeping with the area. But, you know, this is a local, this is another local landmark well, for fuck's sake. This is the last fucking uh, uh, ex, uh, cinema still uh, standing. Surely it deserves to be fucking saved. So, and, uh, uh, and the planning application has gone before the council. I hope the council sees sense and, uh, uh, and turn down Little's uh, application to, uh, uh, to, uh, res uh, to flatten this. Because if they don't, then they need a fucking heads testing. Well, that's the end of this little, uh, of this, uh, better, uh, uh, this video. I, uh, hope you like it. I enjoy making it. Uh, I will make another one, uh, soon. Another walk round. Uh, I could have waited until, uh, a week on Saturday, because I'm going out on Saturday, but, you know, uh, the building might be tinned up for all I know for demolition, and uh, I'm not. Uh, am I fucking allowing that to happen? <clears throat> well, you know what to do. Never mind raising. Just comment or subscribe. If you don't like a tough shit. Just comment or subscribe.